Dear friends, two years have passed since the start of Russia's war against Ukraine, and no one knows when it will end. Two years ago, the lives of most Russians were barely affected by the war. Nowadays, the war affects the lives of those people who didn't think about it before. Mobilized people have been at the front for more than a year. Most of them are exhausted mentally and physically. After being wounded and being in a hospital, they are returned to the front again. Those who refuse to go to the front lines are torched, beaten and imprisoned in illegal prisons. Relatives of mobilized people apply to the officials, but they don't receive the proper replies or don't receive any replies at all. They can't get justice. Thousands of people are in prison for spreading so-called false information about the army, but in fact, for telling the truth about the war. More than 4,000 soldiers were sentenced to more than five years in prison for leaving the military unit without permission. Those people wanted to stop to participate in the war but they didn't know how to do it legally. It is so sad they didn't apply to our movement for advice. If they did, they or their relatives, we would help them. Soldiers who managed to leave their military units and return home, they are forced to hide because the military police can detain them. Some soldiers have left their units but can't return home from Ukraine because they will be arrested when they pass through the checkpoints. So they rent apartments, they rent flats in Ukrainian towns and hide there. Most of them already have serious problems with health and they need medical help, but they can't get it. Minister of Defense actively recruits people for war in prisons, promising them not to send them on the front lines. They promise good payments and, of course, release from the prison. This trick works because people in prisons don't have opportunity to use internet. They watch television and they are exposed to propaganda. Recently, a small group of women has created their way home movement. They demand the return of all the mobilized people, not only their relatives. And we, the Conscious Objector movements and some other human rights organizations talk how to seek the return of a mobilized or contract soldier from war using medical grounds. It's hard, but it is possible. If your family is consistent and persistent, it is possible. Unfortunately, the number of people who do this is not as large as we would like. But when I hear from people, we are common people, we can do nothing to stop the war. I always answer, we can do. Maybe not a lot, but we can. Don't take part in the war. Help your friends to do it. Help people who are in prisons for their anti-war positions or for leaving the military unit. Help them. Write letters. Send some money. Help Ukrainian, Ukrainian refugees who are now on the territory of Russia. Maybe it's not a lot, but the more people do it, the faster the war ends. Thanks for your time. No war.